direct variation example one. Now the amount of money I earn at work, which we'll call E for earnings, varies directly with the amount of hours I work, H for hours. Last week I earned $282 for 12 hours work. Now question A says, what is the constant of variation? K, what does this represent? Okay, so we've got our formula Y equals K X, where K represents the constant of variation. So what we need to do is the Y and the X have to represent the E and the H, and we need to figure out which one's which. And the way we do it is we try and figure out which one's the independent variable and which one's the dependent one. So when I'm working, the amount of money I earn depends on the amount of hours I work. So H represents the independent variable. Because in one way or another, we can choose the number of hours we, we work, or maybe at least our boss can choose independently how many hours we work. Our earnings are dependent. They depend on how many hours we work. Okay, so that means that E is Y, since Y is your dependent variable, and X is H, since H is your independent variable. Okay, so this is our formula. We need to find K. K should always end up as a number, right? Now, last week I earned $282. So 282 replaces the E for 12 hours work. So the 12 will replace the H. So we're going to have K times 12. We've just taken this formula, replaced the E with the 282, and replaced the H with the 12. We need to figure out K. And we can do that quite simply by just dividing 12 on both sides. Let's grab the calculator. 282 divide 12 comes to 23.5. So K equals 23.5 or $23.50 per hour. That's our hourly rate. All right, question B says write an equation in terms of E and H. Now we've already we're already there. E equals K H and because K equals 23.5, we just write E equals 23.5 H. That's done. Question C, how much would I earn if I worked for 15 hours? So E equals 23.5 times 15 hours. Let's see what we get. And it comes out to $352.50.